I'm Gary from Paddleboard Specialists, and I've spent most of the morning today comparing the 2015 All-Star to the 2015 race. They're really quite different boards, and I just want to share some observations with you. And I've tried these in most of the available sizes they have here at the Starboard meeting. The All-Star has some very, very wonderful attributes. First, in terms of catching a bump or catching some of these little waves coming into shore, it catches them with much less effort than the race board. It also feels very stable once it gets on one of those waves coming in. And surprisingly, even though the widths are a little bit narrower, they feel equally stable to the boards from last year. So when I get into choppier conditions on the All-Star, I like the fact that the All-Star has a little bit more nose rocker and I, uh, a pointy nose. It tends to pierce very, very well. It goes downwind really effortlessly in comparison to the race. The race has a bit flatter rocker line and a more bulbous type of nose. The nose tends to want to go under more readily. And with the shape in the, in the tail of the race board, you can see it has the deep single concave through here. It takes a lot more effort to catch a bump and to glide easily with it, so I don't like that as well. But when I get into flatter conditions, then my opinion switches the other way around. With the flatter rocker line of the race, it feels faster, it accelerates a little better, it feels like it maintains speed better. There's something about it that is always a little nervous, even in this wider 27 and 3 quarter inch width. It has this little bit of a bobble, which kind of surprised me, which is more prevalent in the narrower sizes. So if you want to look at the race, think of it as a flat water, light chop, upwind conditions board. In a little choppier conditions, or if you have a lot of wind where you're at, overall, the All-Star is still a better choice. So when you look at the bottom of the All-Star versus the race, you can see the All-Star is a much flatter bottom. It's a very flat, clean release at the tail, whereas the race has the single concave and a dual release at the back with a very rounded rail. So now we're looking at the noses and the boards. The race is on the left-hand side. You can see the more bulbous, fuller, almost like a narrow spoon type of nose. And the All-Star on the right with its more pointed, somewhat leaner entry in the nose. The bulbous nose on the race when it does go under, it doesn't seem to slow the board down at all. If you just hop back a little bit and keep right on going. The All-Star, you can see it has a little more nose rocker, a flatter bottom. This board catches bumps, I think, better and with less effort than the race. 